the pedestrian bike path to the Richmond San Rafael Bridge is nearly complete. What will be the path on the bridge is taking shape. Every weeknight, 15 to 20 truckloads, two semis at a time, of movable barrier units arrive from Lindsay Transportation in Rio Vista. Each truck carries 14 pairs or 28 units. Each link weighs 1,500 pounds. They are 18 inches wide, 37 inches long, and 42 inches tall. Two modified forklifts continually joust for position to remove two links at a time carefully picking up the 3,000 pounds of concrete, cruising to the barriers already installed, and sliding the links into position, with point man Jesse Reed directing with laser-like precision. A 15-pound spike, which had just been dipped in this soapy solution, is sledgehammered in to lock the links together. A hydraulic press levels and confirms proper alignment. Every 86 links, a special expandable link is inserted over the bridge's expansion joints. So when the bridge naturally expands and contracts, the concrete barrier will do the same. The process is repeated all night, every weeknight, for about a month, until the four-mile barrier is complete. The team over at Lindsay Transportation out in Rio Vista, uh, you know, they're the world leaders in this kind of stuff, and their work is seen already on the Golden Gate Bridge. So this is a very similar concept. It's uh, a little bit different in design, but very similar in concept. It's just a much longer uh, span to traverse. From end to end, the movable portion of the, uh, is a little over four miles. Unlike the Golden Gate Bridge, where the barrier is moved twice every day, this barrier will only be moved as needed, since the normal two lanes of traffic will not change. There are other operational improvements in the corridor that I think are really important, particularly for cars. The most important of those is uh, the advent of all electronic open road tolling across the bridge. MTC, Caltrans, Contra Costa Transportation Authority, and Transportation Authority of Marin thank nighttime drivers for putting up with the evening delays. Access for electric and leg-powered bicycles and pedestrians will open soon. On the Richmond Bridge, Mark Jones reporting.